Okay, this is Dragon of Eternity, and welcome back to World of Warcraft Battle of Azeroth. In the last video, I completed the Voldoon storylines, and in this video I'll be going through the Temple of Sephiralis dungeon. Now, you can probably see that I'm not really queued into the dungeon yet, and I don't have the dungeon quest. That's because I have already done it. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of... Uh, winding down the last video and I ended up getting the dungeon queue for it so here's a little intro video added on to talk a little bit about the dungeon and the quest so the quest I had was Temple of Sephiralis Avatar of the Lower and the text says we cannot let Mifrax bring his destruction upon this world once more we need our Lower now more than ever but she has yet to return to us the time of her rebirth has passed Someone, or something, must be preventing her awakening. Enter her resting place and see what you can uncover. And for that, you get a lot of experience, and 600 Azrite, as well as 500 reputation with the Voldenai. So, yeah. I've been through it, I've done the quest, and I'll talk a bit about the dungeon, since I kind of want to just talk about it. So, we have the Temple of Sephiralis. Centuries ago, Sephiralis, a powerful snake lower, sacrificed herself to stop Mifrax from unleashing her master upon Azeroth. Or oh, unleashing his master upon Azeroth. After the battle, her devoted followers transported her remains and built a temple around them while they awaited her rebirth. Now a dark force stirs within the sacred temple that seeks to twist her power in... into... not into... twist her power in... <laughs> I'm gonna keep doing that. Now a dark force stirs within the sacred temple that seeks to twist her power towards nefarious means. There we go. So yeah, the map. It's quite straightforward. You start here, you go fight these two guys. Then you go along here, you fight a giant snake. You go here, you fight an elemental. Then you go through this section. You go to here, you end up having to get two orbs to stick into a statue. And then you go to the final boss, which you have to heal up. So, yeah, the first boss, Adorus and Aspix. A pair of powerful Sephirak charged with guarding the temple's entrance to prevent anyone from interfering with their master's plot. Aspix and Adorus have a lightning shield that transfers back and forth between them during encounters. Or during the encounter. This shield empowers the recipient, granting access to powerful lightning-based abilities. When not empowered in this way, they will use wind-based attacks instead. So, lightning shield reflects damage to attackers, so you want to attack the one that doesn't have it. You sidestep Adaris's Cyclone Strike. You avoid damaging allies when afflicted with Conduction, so you have a blue AoE around you, you need to stay away from other people. And then you spread out for Arc Dash. Adaris rapidly charges at all enemies inflicting 16,000 physical damage on normal to all players in the path, so yeah, you don't want to be hit by that. And loot, at least for red paladins, it gives me a wrist, which I actually won in a dungeon, but I ended up giving to the tank since he had significantly lower item level wrist and legs, which would have been nice to have. No change on Heroic, and uh, no change on Mythic. Well, apart from the item level, but yeah. And the models are this, and this. I don't know if they're different genders or not. I don't know. I think there's a... Is there a female gender among the snakes? There has to be. I don't know. <laughs> I'm rambling. So the second boss is Merekva. Merekva is the product of foul experiments to create an army of unstoppable beasts. It's missing an S there. With her clutch of eggs beginning to hatch, this mother is on the hunt for victims to serve as food for her ravenous children. Merekva will emerge and attack players, while small, group of <laughs> while small groups of Merekva's eggs begin to hatch. Once hatched, the snakes will attack players while Merekva burrows and periodically charges across the play space. Merekva will re-emerge shortly after, and a new clutch of eggs will begin to hatch. Merekva will repeat the burrow and re-emerge process one more time. You cannot hit creatures while they are obscured. 
I think they were inside a dust cloud so people couldn't hit them. Defeat the venomous Ophidians to prevent heavy damage from Cryotoxin. Uh huh, Cryotoxin. Oh wait, I'm thinking of Neurotoxin from Portal. Never mind. Face away from Marekfa's blinding sand to be to avoid becoming blinded. So that's essentially she's doing an AoE. You have to just face away from her. It's like a certain move in Final Fantasy XIV where you're blinded or you get uh, petrified. Petrifaction, I think it was. So yeah, loot. She gives you. Oh, she gives rare paladins. Hands, finger, or a trinket. Not think changed on heroic, but on mythic she gives a pet, which is essentially her model. So that's Marekfa, that's the venomous Odiphian, or Ophidians, and these are the sand crested strikers. So that's the second boss. Next boss, Galvazd. With the corruption of her temple, Sephralis's command of lightning has created twisted elementals that roam the sunken creek sunken creatures? Sunken chambers. The most powerful of these creatures is called Galvaz, capable of eradicating anything that crosses its path. Overview? Energy cores form around the play space and attempt to energize Galvaz. Players can intervene to energize themselves instead, but will take more damage the longer they do so. Stand in between Galvazd and any existing energy core to prevent Galvazd from getting galvanized. Players take more damage from galvanized the longer they stand in the beam. Galvazd cast Consume Charge at 100, which would be very bad. So players have to stand between him and the beams and not get too many stacks or else you'll die. Mm -hmm. Let's see, loot. He drops for Red Paladins a, race, uh, a waste and a finger. Nothing changed on Heroic, nothing changed on Mythic. And that's what he looks like. It's like a sand, electric, elemental thing. And then finally we have the Avatar of Sephiralis. The heart of Sephiralis is in the grips of a terrible power that seeks to corrupt her. Her Avatar must be restored before this evil takes root and she is reborn as a dark lower capable of destroying the whole of Uldun. Chakraset's allies will continually taint the Avatar the Avatar of Sephiralis, reducing all incoming healing by 20%. It was 100% when I went through it. <laughs> Forting your attempts to heal her. As the Avatar is restored, more and more of Jackson's allies will join the fray, often causing toads to plague you. Dispatch the Heart Guardians and Hoodoo Hexes, then capitalize on your opportunity to heal the Avatar. The encounter is complete when the Avatar is fully restored. So damage dealers, Heart Guardians deal significantly more damage to your tank the longer they are alive, so nuke them down. Hoodoo Hexes decrease the amount of healing the Avatar of Sephiralis heal receives, so kill them. Plague Toads chase healers and inflict them with Plague. Healing you do is reduced by 50% and you suffer 8,000 8, Plague damage over the duration. Multiple applications of Plague can cause the damage effect to stack. So if you have, like, a turn on you, then you're kind of fucked. The energy fragment spawned by a dying Heart Guardian is most useful when the Avatar of Sephiralis is free from taint. Yeah, I have no idea what that means. So, model. There's the Avatar of Sephiralis. You have to heal her up to 100% health. You've got the Hoodoo Hexes, who you must kill. You've got the Heart Guardians, who you must kill. And Plague Doctors, who release Toads, who you must kill. And loot. Shoulders and chest. Shoulders and chest. Shoulders and chest. And that is basically the entire dungeon. So you've got uh, the first boss to kill, you've got the second boss to kill, the third boss to kill, and the fourth boss you have to heal up while killing at. So, yeah, hopefully I've explained the dungeon a bit, and with that, I will end this intro bit here. And I will meet you back when I actually get into the dungeon, which has technically already happened for me, but hey ho, wibbly wobbly timey wimey. I'll see you in the dungeon. This temple is the resting place of Sephiralis, a powerful loa that protected my people from destruction. Sacrificed herself to stop Mithrax. But with her death, the jungles.
Walls of Baldoom withered to sand. The time of her rebirth has passed, and now I fear something is preventing her from returning. Okie dokie, <laughs> so we're now in the dungeon and unlike the Atal Dazar dungeon queue which took me two hours, this took me less than five minutes to get into the dungeon. <laughs> oh, that's... I don't know how to feel about that. Relieved, annoyed, everything. <laughs> so hopefully I'll have done a little intro to this video before going into this dungeon, which I'll be recording after doing this dungeon. Wibbly wobbly tiny money me. <laughs> yeah, so you'll have a little intro about the dungeon, about the bosses, about what they should hopefully drop for me, and now we're in the dungeon. <laughs> I still can't believe that the Ataldazar dungeon took me two hours to queue for. You guys will hear me rant about that for a long time. Wait, what would he find the first boss? I don't know what she does! <laughs> I've probably already read it in the intro, but... Let's see, lightning shield reflects attacks. Sidestep the cyclone strike, avoid damaging allies when afflicted with conduction. Spread out for arc dash. So... Lightning shield. Shit. I should be attacking Adaris! I will enjoy watching you fry! So, these guys have separate HP? Yeah. Spread out for that. The jolts are being interrupted. Anywhere. Dodge her attacks, or his attacks. I don't know, genders between snakes. That sounds really racist. <laughs> well... It's... It's... How do I say this? That's sounding like a dick. It's a new race that's been introduced in World of Warcraft. I don't know the differences between the genders of the new races. Oh, hello, a new item which is significantly worse. Poop. <laughs> Can I give this to anyone? Uh, Demon Hunter, Monk, Warrior, Monk. Uh, what's your item level? You want a tank? If he says yes, I'll trade it to him. It's a nice upgrade for him. Come on, AS168. He needs it. I'm trading you a good piece of item. Use it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, you. Stay, 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 stay. Oh, come on. There, take it. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. There's my good deed for the week. There we go. So we're on to the second boss? I think... Merefka? Has been removed from my appearance. 
Ah, well, I'll come across it again. And ba boom. I just realized I'm going to have to fly it back out to the... Uh, the snake guy. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, well, it's not too bad. So, my Refka. Are these her eggs? Where's my Refka? Not looking at collections, uh, Marefka. Marefka is a giant snake. Great. Alright, alright. What does she potentially drop? Uh, better hands, better finger, uh, better trinket shit. God, I'm replacing the Argus trinket. Well, to be fair, if I actually did, uh, like, random, normal, and Taurus raids, I could have probably got it up to item level 1000. So, that would have been item level 165. But I was a lazy git with Antorus. So, yeah, that's kind of my fault. My bad. Mind you, that's if it actually drops. You know, I haven't actually seen it, uh set on fire yet. Oh, I haven't seen my weapons catch fire. Or should I say the fire hat? What? What was I in? It was like a cloud of poop. Alright, I'm Merikva. Merikva? Aye. And now we attack the snack. What do we do? What are the mechanics of the snack? You cannot hit creatures while they are obscured. Quickly defeat Odiphians. Those dudes! To prevent heavy damage from cryotoxin. Okay, GLaDOS. Face away from blinding sand to avoid becoming blinded. Okay. So avoid an attack, turn around when she does a move. And we're good. Something tells me we should probably... There we go. Nope. Quickly kill those guys! Oh, no, wait. Those, oh, those are sand-crusted uh, strikers. They're not the venomous Odiphians. I'm probably not saying that correctly. Oh, well. Uh, get out the mist. Get out the mist. Alright, where is Snack? There is Snack. Ba boom. Beware. Let's look away. I learned that mechanic from FF14. <laughs> it's true, I did. Beware. <laughs> it was like the petrify uh, mechanic. You have my gratitude. For removing that infestation. Now please make haste. I sense a growing darkness taking I'm hold of the it. temple. Agitated Nimbus. Okay. That's the Agitated Nimbus, that's another Agitated Nimbus, Agitated Stormcaller. Oh boy, dodging! That's gonna be fun. Right. Though I suspect this will be a great mechanic in Heroic and Mythic mode. Yes. Yes, it will. I don't know, so why are we actually using the braces? He hasn't burned on yet! <laughs> Come on. What's actually braces I had? Uh, 
Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Uh, yeah, it was a it was a bracer. Grab your bracer. It's an upgrade. <laughs> Don't call me mate, mate. I feel like that's a. Uh, What's that one, uh, streamer? It's not Towley. It's, uh, uh... Who is it? Uh, tr Preach! There we go. Preach Gaming. I was gonna say, what was his name? Yeah, and he's got the really weird notifications with, with like, JPEGs going, Mate. And then there's a sub option which shows him sharing a hot dog with a guy, lady in a tram style, going, you're more than just a mate. It was weird. <laughs> he probably still has that uh, sub-notification. I haven't seen him stream, which is surprising, considering, you know, Balvazov just got released. I mean... Oh, yeah, now he's doing it. <laughs> now he's streaming! Preacher Man Free, the quest for web. I guess he already got to max level then. Wouldn't be surprising. <laughs> Who is streaming at the moment? <laughs> I can't believe I'm asking that in a dungeon while I'm fighting a boss. What the hell are your tactics? Seriously, what are your tactics? Standing between Galvazad and any existing engine core to prevent getting galvanized. The players take more damage from galvanized the longer they stand in the beam. He casts Consume Charge at 100 NG. Galvanized damage increased. Oh, galvanized damage increased. Okay. Yeah, that's a bit too much. Someone take the galvanized damage, please. Ba boom. More artifact power. If I get the level eight after this dungeon, that'd be great. Shall we go? Also, please, for the love of crap, equip that uh, wrist. Oh, well, this is fun. Great, Demon Hunter, great! <laughs> I played the Oculus expansion, I know how to dodge shit. <laughs> Minus. Polo Ice Field. Okay. God, the Acto expansion was hard. <laughs> I beat it, I never fought the super boss, but I beat it. I got all 80 fangs. Oh, technically the four fangs. I got all 80 memories. <laughs> and that's good enough for me. It got me the captain hat. <laughs> sea cucumber. Oh, that dick. Test failed. Test failed. I still have PTSD over that. <laughs> oh, me rambling about Splatoon 2 later. Let's see, we're nearly at this final boss. Overall, this is a pretty decent dungeon. I can see it being difficult with the traps on Mythic. Yeah. That reminds me, there's a pet on Mythic, isn't there? Uh, Normal, it's from you, isn't it? Uh, Mythic. Nope. Oh, it's from the second boss. Viable Cobra Egg. Duration three days. This Cobra Egg appears to be intact, but who kn who knows what it will hatch. It will hatch you a pet. You get a pet from Mythic. Which is... Morphin can what be... S I don't mean words. Which is Morphin what can be said about... Uh, Legion Mythics. You didn't really get anything for doing them. Well, I suppose you got the myth cachet, but I don't know if that continues on into Balvazrov. So what the hell are we supposed to do with these orbs? I guess we're supposed to bring them somewhere. I don't know where, though. Okay, these focus are never-ending. What are we doing this thing? Can I do this? Yes, but it is incredibly fucking slow. Eye of Sephiralis. 
No, 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 no. Come on, surely we've killed enough Orb Guardians. <laughs> well, this is interesting. What the hell do we do here? Seriously, what do we do with this thing? Where are we taking this? Oh. Oh, I see. I suppose there's already one in there. No, 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 no! <laughs> Come on! Pick it up and go! 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 No! Fuck you! Don't I have a thing I can use? Hand of Hindrance, yes. Yes, go! Use your monk powers! Monk power, activate! What an annoying mechanic. I love it. <laughs> I'm sure I won't be enjoying it uh, several runs of this dungeon down the line, but... Oh well. Heart Guardian, Heart Guardian. I was there. Zephyrlis sacrificed herself to stop Mithrax. If not for her, the world would have fallen to chaos. Ah, her sanctum should be just up ahead. Wait, who are these intruders? They are corrupting Zephyrlis! So I think this is a, essentially a heal boss, like uh, the Green Dragon in ICC. I think. I'll check. Yeah, not Mythic, I wish. <sighs> Doesn't really matter about those then. Heart Guardians deal significantly more damage the longer they are alive. So, kill shit and heal. Is essentially what I'm hearing. So I suspect we kill these guys and then uh, start healing. Yeah, she needs to be healed. She needs healing. Call Mercy! <laughs> Alright, we good. Can we start? You see the avatar of the frost before you. Shattered, Something. But the temple's defenses have awakened. Healing taken reduced. Restore Damn. Me, and I will disable them. Well, I'll try. Heart guardians deal more damage the longer they're up. Okay, so take out the heart guardians. We good? Can we start healing? She needs healing. Go! Go! Fuck! <laughs> Why we got a good chunk up? Plague Toad. Plague on Soliori. Dispel now. Probably should have had this on. <laughs> but I am here. Come on, I'll do what I can. More voodoo hexas. So really, it's just kill ads and heal. Yeah. This is a pretty good boss. It's more than just tank and spank. It's it's something. <laughs> uh, one hexa left, and then heal her. Heal her. I 
And she's good. Dominion over all. Is she still good? We doing something? I guess she's helping us kill shit. <laughs> good. One last exit to kill. I think. And we're good. Yay! The storm has broken, and I am myself again. Thank you. Woo! That's right, Splinter. Order must be. The Avatar of Sephiroth was rejuvenated thanks to the efforts of you and your allies. Please return me to this entrance. That's so. Slash I. Thanks all. This war must end. Return me towards the entrance. Mithrax has so, this should take me to here. I guess the temple was here. Oh shit! Excuse me, I just rezzed your bloody avatar. Your bloody lower. Could you please not be a dick? Shush. I hope the tank ends up using those uh, braces. I hope so. So I need to get the Vorik Sanctum, fly off there, and then we're good. Yay! It's a long walk or uh, flight, but I suppose it's better than flying straight from uh, Zuldazar. Yeah, yeah. Sylvanus' resolve. Ooh. So, where is the flight path? Please, let it be here. Please! Okay, that's Vark Sanctum. And the flight path's right around here. Good. Got anything for me? Take care of yourself. Okie dokie, so flying the vulture. The weird free tailed vulture. I don't understand how it has free tails. I don't understand it. The vulture. What was that vulture uh, thing that I thought of? A uh, vulture. poem. It would if I spelled it correctly. Vultures is a poem by. Chinua Achebe included in the AQA Anthology for study at GCSE. That's the fucking poem. AQA Anthology. I had that book. There's a lot of weird ass poems in there. <laughs> Can't believe that a flight mount has got me onto the topic of GCSE English. Yep, it, it does that sometimes. Uh, bound journal. There's just a lot of random things to pick up which don't give you any experience. Hmm. Ah, well. So I just have to hand this in to... You. Oh, nice. Your avatar's here! We all have our place. This will cannot withstand the destruction that Mifrax will bring. I will watch over you. Okay. Are you here to help? Temple of Sephiroth, Avatar of the Lower. Behold, Marikov, Sephiroth has returned. Sephiroth, save us all. Are they? Oh, this is a war campaign bit. That will be done later. Or technically, next episode for me. <laughs> Yeah. Okie dokie, so increase the item level by 5, increase the item level by 5, increase the item level by 5. And tabby dozy. So, do you say anything else? Order must be restored. Mithrax has no place in this world. I am weakened, but I am here. This war must 
end. Order must be restored. I will watch over you. Yeah, she doesn't really say anything. Okay, so I guess with that, I will end this video here. This has been Dragon of Eternity going through more World of Warcraft Battle of Azeroth. In this video, I went through the Temple of Sephiroth's dungeon in order to complete a dungeon quest I had at the end of the Voldoon questing zone. So with that done, I have a quest to go to Kulturas again to continue the war campaign. I'll definitely be doing that next video because I want to continue the quest campaign. So, yeah. I guess with that planned out view is as I mine this object. <laughs> what can I say? It's a mining node. I have to get it. So, yeah. With that all said viewers, with my rambling done, until next time.